How's this for a magical little spot? We were going to pull up to uh, El Cuestro last night, but as we come across the Pentecost, it just looked far too beautiful. The sun's just coming up behind us uh, over the Pentecost Ranges. This is better than any uh, five-star accommodation, that's for damn sure. Absolute serenity this morning. Nice little cup of joe, and um, we'll make our way to El Cuestro, chase some waterfalls. Now, if you're doing the gib, make sure you stop at the Pentecost and uh, grab yourself one of these campsites down on the water. Not only is it one of the best camps we've had, but it's completely free, um, right on the water. It doesn't get any better than that. Make sure you stop in, spend a night on the Pentecost. We made it. El Crestro. Um, you excited for this one? I am. Plenty of hot springs. Hot springs, gorges. Um, it's, I dare say it'll be pretty busy coming onto that school holiday period. I think it's pretty resort-like. We'll find out, but there's some beautiful places here. Really good. I want to go do some fun stuff. First off the bat, Zebedee Springs. Um, for some reason it's only open till noon. I'm not really sure why, but this is meant to be their hot spring. We'll go check it out, and then I think we're gonna hit a couple of the gorges. Apparently there's a really nice full drive track here to a lookout, so um, we'll give that a crack this afternoon. And then uh, I think we've got one other awesome gorge to have a look at in the morning when we leave. Now, if you're gonna come here, I don't know how big it is, we'll keep you updated, but they charge you $22 per person for unpowered camping per night. They also charge you $22 per person for a weekly permit to be here. So if you're staying for one night, like we are, you're up for 88 bucks a night for two people unpowered camping. Pretty bloody steep. So it might be worth staying a couple of nights to make it worthwhile. We'll let you know when we explore a little bit more. So it's not hot, but it is uh, it is warm. Beautiful spot, absolutely epic. How good was that? So good, those butterflies and everything. Yeah, Zebedee Springs, absolute must. And there's actually a heap of different little pools, so. Um, and they all have their own little hot springs, so the whole thing is pretty much Yeah, there's, hot. there's different little feeds, so it's not just one feed. It's not hot, it's warm, it's say 30 degrees, I reckon. And, um, Basically, there's different little sections. So even though it was quite busy, we managed to get our own little pool, kick back. Our own um, pool too. Yeah, and enjoy it. So. I had to keep watch. Definitely a must. <laughs> so far, stoked. A little bit devastating, we found out it's a bit of a walk. <laughs> About two hours round to the first gorge, and then um, four hours round trip to the second gorge, which is pretty gnarly. Here, yeah. all the way up here. To the flora. Halfway Flip. pool. Staircase boulders. Ooh. And then... No. no, they're not. Stand on the rocks, you goose. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> It's just turned into a nine hour return, return walk with Tiff. She's got the balance of a bloody baby Bambi.
climb to get up to the next waterfall. It's only a little, little fella. I'm, I'm no snake expert, that's for damn sure, but I think they get a bit bigger than that. I'm glad he was in the water and not uh, on the rocks for me to stand on. You wanna go see the snake, Tiff? <laughs> not impressed, eh? Made it. How good is this? Worth it. So worth it. Beer, not a cider, but someone drunk them all. <laughs> yeah, it was me. Much deeper, I will shout. Welcome to Wild Hair Wednesday. Yes. We're um, on the way out of the campground at uh, El Cuestro. Beautiful little spot. I don't want to leave. It's so nice. We are going to stop in at Emma Gorge which is on the way out. Might even be uh, a mate there. Stay tuned, see if we can run into the Australian cowboy himself. Yeah. He might be floating around. Pretty excited. She's bloody slow, this one. Have a go at that. Righto, well, look what the cat dragged in. I said we <laughs> might run into the Australian cowboy. All the way up here in the Kimberleys, for all good. That's it, what are you doing up here, mate? Uh, just taking a couple of fellas out to the Emma Gorge here on the Equestro Station. If you haven't been, it's a beautiful place to be, especially in this uh, part of the country, eh? That's he didn't it. drive, I thought he was going to drive his car up here, so I was waiting for his car <laughs> to come up, but he didn't bring it up. Too many signs. Too many signs. <laughs> when did that ever stop you? <laughs> Righto, well, we might catch up with uh, Cowboy a little bit later on. We're planning on doing some bush tucker things, That's apparently. That's it, and a uh, couple of beers. A couple of beers, yeah, a couple of beers tonight. Have a good one, guys. What a, uh, what an absolute accomplishment. No, it was unreal, absolutely stoked. Bucket list, tick, done and dusted. Not a bad way to finish it off, old Emma Falls. Emma Gorge. Emma Gorge, <laughs> Gorge Falls, they keep changing the names. Worse than that, no they don't. But we're done, we're back on the dirty, filthy laptop. But the adventure's only just getting started. Uh, stay tuned. In the next vlog, we're going to catch up with uh, a couple of friends of mine, Mick and Stace from Airing Down, and uh, Alex and Alana. Just Alex and Alana. So, <laughs> we're pretty keen for that. We're on our way to Catherine. Anyway, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the vlog. I've had an absolute ball on the Gibb River. Uh, what about you? Yeah, it's been so good. Loved all the waterfalls. 
such epic waterfalls. WA turning it on. If you enjoyed this vlog, give it a like. Uh, make sure you subscribe. If you liked it that much, make sure you tell a, tell a mate or two about it. We'll see you next time on Matt's Vlogs.